I'm gonna add a few extra points on the uh, the Wii Shop channel. I was just checking, just on every single game to see if I could get into it. And I, I really could. Yeah, I know what you mean. You like, like, I, I had like 500 extra points on uh, one of my Wii Points cards, and I'm like, let's see, what else is on here? Yeah, there's not too much. No, I saw Metroid on there, and I'm like, well, let's see, I guess I might as well take this one. So I took it, and I, well, I still haven't beaten it, but I've, like, progressed in it. Hmm. Yeah, well, the, the only two NES games I bought were Final Fantasy, of, of course, and Super Mario Bros. 3, and, yeah, I, I had no clue you couldn't save in that game. Like... You had to play it all the way through. I mean, I suck at it even. I can't get past World 3. What was that? Crap. I felt like. Uh. Okay, good. Who was that? My sister. Huh. God, that's so annoying. I never keep my phone with me because I'm never expecting any calls. It, it just sits somewhere in my room dead. I never even charge it. So how many times have you played this game? You said you played it before. Oh. Yeah, I actually own it. And, uh... I'd say I've played it through, uh, twice. The first time I got like, I like captured all the the shadow Pokemon, but I didn't like purify. And uh, for some reason, my uh, original GameCube memory card like went backed out, and it said like the save file was corrupted, which kind of pissed me off. But mine did that you know, too when it, I first got this game. Whenever I first got it, I played for like five hours, and I tried to save, and it was like. The memory card is corrupted. You cannot save. I'm like, what the crap? So I had to leave it on and go buy another memory card. And uh, ugh, it just, it was just, it just sucked. And I couldn't even use that file anyway, because the file itself was corrupted, and, and, along with the memory card, which was just so stupid and pointless. The strange thing is, um, like I had a save file of Twilight Princess. But that work that wasn't corrupted at all. It was just that one game in uh, Sonic Heroes. I think those were the only games that saves that the save files were corrupted. Which I'm kind of glad because in Twilight Princess I got like you know like all all the heart containers and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm afraid about my Pokemon Pearl um, file. I think I've told you about that. I've had it since like two months after its re official American release, and I've. I'm still adding to it, which is like thousands of hours on that thing, and I'm afraid it's eventually going to whack out and just delete itself. This one guy I talked to said you can somehow get the data stored somehow, put it on another uh, game card, which I might have to do because I'm, I'm still working on that file getting on my level 100s and stuff, and I'm afraid it's just going to delete itself because it caps at 999 hours, so I can't even, I can't even measure how long I have been playing it. I mean, it capped a few years ago, which is even worse. Is it me, or does it seem like they're, uh... The Pokemon Company is like ripping off of, of animals more often now. Like, uh, let's see, a perfect example would be like Combi or, uh, uh, what's another one? Badoof, I guess. Yeah, Badoof, it's like a, it's a, it's a beaver basically. Um, God, I can't think of any right now. Yeah, I'm not too fond. I'm not too fond of the fourth generation Pokemon. I mean, I like the third one; it's pretty good. But I mean, if you look at um, the first, the first generation, you know, one through one hundred and fifty-one, they 
a lot of them weren't very creative themselves, like Electrode and Voltorb. I mean, themselves, they aren't very creative, but, I mean, their evolved forms look just about the same. Same as Dodoo and Dodrio. And there's plenty more. And Mr. Mime is just plain stupid looking. I mean, a Pokemon... Personally, I think... Pokemon went more into the kind of eased away of the kid audience and went to more adult audience. It could be more like Yu-Gi-Oh or Digimon or stuff, which don't look quite so childish, I'll, I'll have to admit. I mean, there's some Pokemon that look cool, like Houndoom, for example, which is just basically a demon. It's kind of cool, I guess. And I like its horns. Like Garchomp. Garchomp's awesome. Yeah, you would say that. But, you know, some of them are just so childish looking, I'm embarrassed to be associated with Pokemon because of them. But, you know, it, they're great RPGs, I love them. And just like, I've, I have plenty of designs that, even prior to my videos I've uploaded a long time ago, um, yeah, th I, I like them. Like, I've made an evolved form of, like, Perugly and, um, Cradilly. I have a whole fo folder of them. I'm gonna upload those at some point, but my printer isn't working correctly. Yeah, they just... Personally, I think the... What? You gotta stop doing that. I'm sorry. Talking at the same time. Uh. Okay, I'll go. Um, yeah. Personally, I think the best generation was the second one. Because, like, well, we all know that the first generation was a huge success, but the second one is really the one that, you know, made it, you know, just... Pardon my English, but, like, just splooge all over the video game market. <laughs> yeah. Like Steelix, for Which, example. Like I, saw I thought it was also that you actually got to, you know, if you've watched, well, I'm sure you have, like, watched the old Pokemon episodes, like, with Ash and Misty and Brock and stuff. Yeah. That Ash is actually in the second generation. You can fight him. He has, like, you know, like, the, the nostalgic Pokemon that you've known about, you know, like, Charizard and Snorlax. And oh, like Red. Pikachu, of course. You mean Red at, like, the last trainer you fight in the game? <coughs> yeah, they call him Red. Actually, yeah, Ash. It's also cool how he, he's called Blue, actually a gym leader, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what I was saying earlier, um, Steelix is, looks really cool in the anime. Like this, um, like, um, I used to have, like, every gym leader battle downloaded on my computer until, until it crashed and all my files were deleted, which sucked. Um, the one where Ash faces Jasmine, his Cyndaquil versus Steelix, which was like a lot of people say that would have been a perfect time for Cyndaquil to evolve. Because if you've seen all the anime, Pokemon mainly will evolve under um, intense stress, which um, Cyndaquil was having a bit of trouble. But and anyway, Steelix just looked completely amazing in that episode. They didn't do they didn't do too much of a 2D aspect on it, but it wasn't quite three-dimensional either. It was just kind of in between. I don't know, I'm horrible at explaining stuff. You'll just have to see the clip. Or the episode, whatever. Well, I'm sure everyone can agree that the anime, or the cartoon, I, can, I personally I consider it a cartoon, was the shit back then. Yeah, back then it was. I mean, now... Nobody has a personality. I mean, ever since, um, I think Advanced Challenge, I mean, in Pokemon Advanced, which is, um, oh, I can't think of the season, five or six, I think six, Ash and May and all, all those dudes had some pretty developed, um, oh crap, what was it? Personalities, but then, as the season went along, they just kind of said what was going on and, you know, fought their Pokemon, that's about it. 